Hello everyone. Let us provide a solution to this problem. 1 over 2 y squared multiplied by y squared equal to 8. Okay, so to find the solution to this problem, you have to understand that this is the same thing as y squared times y squared over 2 being equal to 8. So this is what it is. So that y squared times y squared will give us y to the power of 4. And that will be equal to 2 times 8, which will give 16. The next thing is bringing 16 to the left hand side. So that y to the power of 4 minus 16 will be equal to 0. Then the next thing is this, y to the power of um, 2 to the power of 2 minus 4 to the power of 2 is equal to 0. Remember that 16 is the same thing as um, 4 to the power of 2. And as it is now, we are having, you know, difference of 2 squares, right? Because if you have a to the power of b to the power of c, if you open the bracket, then you have a to the power of b c, meaning that you are going to multiply the powers. That's what will happen here. That will still <clears throat> this will still give you the four, I mean the y to the power of four over there, right? Then applying our difference of two squares, if you have a squared minus b squared this will be the same thing as a plus b into a minus b and from here now what is our a our a is equal to y squared and then our b is equal to um four right this is a and this is b now, putting this into this standard, a plus b becomes y squared plus 4. Okay, then in the second bracket, we have y squared minus 4. And both of these will be equal to 0. And now, what can we apply? We can now apply difference of those squares, right? No, we can apply 0 product rule because we have this. And this to multiply giving us um, zero so apply zero product rule zero product rule and this will mean that y squared plus 4 is equal to zero or what I have in the second bracket will be equal to zero right okay so now from here this means that y squared is equal to 0 minus 4 and then y squared is equal to minus 4. Now what do I do to this to get y? To get y I have to take the, um, the square root of both sides. Square root of y squared will be equal to positive or negative square root of negative 4. Now, this and this will cancel. So, y now will be equal to plus or minus. Now, I want to separate what we have here. That will be square root of 4 multiplied by square root of negative 1. Okay? Because if you are multiplying two roots, you can multiply into each other. Okay? And it will give us um, square root of negative 4. And then from here, y will be equal to plus or minus square root of 4 is 2 right so I have 2 over here then square root of negative 1 will give imaginary you know answer and that is I so this means that y is equal to 2i or negative 2i but then I will still get two more solutions from here so I will write y squared minus 4 being equal to 0. 
meaning that y squared is equal to 0 plus 4, right? So our y squared will be equal to 4. Then to get the value of y, we would have to take the square root of both sides. Square root of y squared, which will be equal to a positive or negative square root of 4. Do not forget that when you take the square root of both sides, on the right hand side, you will have positive or negative value. Meaning that if you have negative value, it will be correct. And if you have a positive value, it will also be correct. This will go with this. So y now will be equal to plus or minus square root of 4 and it is 2, right? So this means that y is equal to 2 or minus 2. Now, bringing the four solutions together, I'll begin from here. Let me call this my y1. So y1 is equal to plus 2. y2 is equal to minus 2. y3 is equal to 2i. And then y, okay, it's out of sight. Sorry about that. Then y4 is equal to negative 2i. So these are the four solutions to the equation. Thank you for watching. And um, do well to subscribe to this channel for more of these videos. Thank you for watching.